Um, the arrow is showing the direction of the impulse flow. This is the skin. Call receptor. This is sensory nerve. If you call this one nerve, this one become cell body. But if you call this one neuron, this one become ganglion. This structure here is the nerve, sensory nerve that is carrying impulse to the spinal cord. So we label this as sensory nerve. The sensory nerve has cell body. It can only be cell body here if we call this one sensory nerve. If you call it sensory neuron, it becomes ganglion. Now the space between the dendrites is called synapse. This, of course, is dosa root. Why this side is ventral root. Why this one is motor nerve, and this one become the muscle, which can also be called effector. This is the gray. matter of the spinal cord this is white matter of spinal cord this is the diagram of a reflex action a reflex arc now for you to describe what happened to the girl for you to describe what happened to the girl the fingers have skin, so on picking the plate, there is heat stimulus that is received by the receptor, which is the skin, and that causes impulses to be generated, and the impulses will be passed through the sensory nerve to the spinal cord. When the impulse get to the spinal cord through the dosal root, the spinal cord will now interpret what is happening and cause impulses to be transmitted from relay neuron, uh, relay nerves to motor nerve. The motor nerve picks off the, the message which is now in form of impulse and transmits it down to the effector which is the muzzle of the fingers.